Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching. So I haven't filmed a YouTube video in a really, really long time and that is mostly um, due to some personal reasons that I might talk about next time. But I decided to go back to filming my videos and I will be trying to update um, once a week. I really hope that that's not too ambitious of me to say. However, um, for today's video, I have uh, some of my spring favorites. Um, those will include some makeup, cosmetics, accessories, fashion items, and so and so on. So without any further ado, uh, let's get into it. So this time of the year, I am trying to go as minimal with the makeup as possible. So I'm trying to use um, lighter foundations, BB creams, stuff like that. And I want to say I care more about my skin during the warmer months just because um, it's very it gets very hot here in New York and we get oily and it all turns into a creasy mess and no one wants that. So, so the first product I will be talking about is this Soap & Glory Daily Scrub. Um, I know that um, there are some people who say that you shouldn't be using scrubs daily and that is completely true, you don't want to irritate your skin too much, but it's all about finding that right scrub for your face and I feel like this one is really really gentle so that's why I like it. I feel like I have to use scrubs daily in order to prevent those little um, black spots appearing on my nose. Um, and I found this product and I'm really really happy with it. So it is called Scrub Your Nose in it, a two minute T-zone detox scrub. It is made with yuzu, uh, which is like a lemony, lemony um, fruit, I think. Um, pardon me if I'm wrong. Um, but anyways, um, it is green. Um, it is, has this like light green color. I'm not sure if you can tell, but um, I'm gonna try to squeeze a little bit. Yes, it's completely green. It smells muddy. It smells like um, mud, but it's, it's also, it has a consistency, but it's also very, very light. Um, so you put it on your T-zone and you just scrub a little bit after you wash your makeup off. And this will help take all the residues of the makeup and all the extra dirt that stayed on your face. And it's going to ensure that your skin is completely, completely um, clean at the end of the day. So you can go on with your, with your skin routine. I really like this product. It's super, super gentle. It doesn't irritate my skin and I feel like it's um, a perfect scrub for me. Um, I also, um, I really, really love this brand as well, Soap & Glory. They are really, really affordable. You can find them at any drugstore. And um, I also use um, their uh, Vitamin C Facial Wash. It is this bottle right here that I completely used. Um, I repurchased this product probably three or four times. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. It is it smells really good it smells like it's called it's also with users so it's from the same line it smells really really nice and refreshing um, um, it has this like little granulas that kind of like also scrub your face a little bit um, but I use it primarily to melt my makeup and to take it off um, so I use these two products um, in conjunction and I'm really really happy with how they work um, so this will be, this is probably the way I've been removing my makeup for some time now. I want to say a couple of months ever since I discovered these two products. So I highly, highly recommend them. <clears throat> Next thing I want to talk about are lip products. Over here I have <laughs> three lip products and that is pretty, pretty good for me being that I have probably more than 100 lipsticks and they all kind of look the same. They're all kind of like nude beige variations. So these three lippies that I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be, I'm going to start with the um, well, Yves Saint Laurent um, Balm. It's in the uh, number one and I think it's called Nude or something. I can check it right now. I have a box. But it is this like really, really cute. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, it's like this balm um, and it has, it has, it's a tinted balm so it has a little bit of color as well. It smells divine. It smells like um, passion fruit. It smells like very exotic, very refreshing, very fruity. Um, and that's why I like it. So um, during the warmer months, I'm trying not to use like very heavy um, lipsticks as well. Like I'm trying to refrain from using mattes or anything that will really like dry up my lips. So that's why I was looking for a really nice balm that I can use kind of like a lipstick as well. So um, this if someone run one is perfect. And I'm going to tell you actually what is the name. Just a second. I have the Sephora bag that I <laughs> that I went to Sephora the other day. 
So um, this tinted balm is in the color, in the color Dream Me Nude. So Dream Me Nude um, number one. I really, really love the packaging. It is really, really cute to like kind of like have in your purse and to go. I would put it right now, but I already have. <laughs> I already have it, so I don't want to put it way too much. Um, it is expensive. It goes for like $37. But it's just such like a girly girl thing to have in your purse, I feel like. So um, I absolutely love it and I highly recommend because um, I've noticed that um, my lips been really... Um, I, if sometimes I even put it like before my mats um, and it will really keep my lips like nice and moisturized. It's just one of those days. Anyways, moving on to the next, to the next product. This is um, so the next lip product is also by Yves Saint Laurent, and it is their Rouge Pro Couture in number ten, which is called um, Beige Tribute. Um, I will say that um, the name is probably not. Um, it's it's definitely not not describing this product at all, in my opinion. I feel like this is like such a like a nude um, pink. Um, it's much more pink than it's beige, so I'm not sure why would they call it beige tribute, but I absolutely love this color you guys This is like, if you want something that's like completely it's going to look like your lips This is the color I feel like I mean we all have different color lips, but still I feel like this is such a nice color for me for my lip um, What I really like about it is that it's super creamy and um, it, it doesn't it doesn't have a gloss, but it's really really creamy it has a nice consistency of a lipstick um, and I really, really love um, the YSL packaging. So I think they're really, really luxurious. Um, they also serve as a mirror. If you haven't noticed, um, you can also use it as a as a mirror. Um, and I really like to have this kind of like luxurious lipsticks in my in my bag. It just makes me feel really princessy. So I would even um, mix these two together. Um, I would pull the balm first, and then the and then the lipstick. And um, it just gives it a little bit more of that like sheen. And then a third lip product that I wanted to talk about is this um, matte lipstick by Smashbox. Uh, I forgot the color. Um, yeah, it's called In Demand. So I will say this Smashbox is definitely one of my favorite um, matte lipsticks because they're um, because they don't dry out at all. They are really really comfortable to wear. Um, I wouldn't say they even feel like matte lipsticks. Like they don't feel like they're drying out your lips. Um, and I really love this color. It's like a peachy pink. Um, it doesn't really look on the, um, in the packaging. Um, so that's why I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see this color. I'm going to put it closer. So it's like a really nice peachy pink on the lips. I really like it. So moving on, I have the eyeshadow palette. Um, it is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys probably know about this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has all these kind of like um, pink, bronzy shades, a lot of neutrals, a lot of nudes, but they're like they're like reddish, reddish tones. Mm, I really like this palette, and as you can see, I haven't been using it that much because I feel like I was I was saving it for the spring. Um, and I can tell that I'll be using this color a lot. It's like a terracotta color. It's really pretty. Um, also, this one right here called the Antique Bronze. That one is really nice as well. Um, so I can see really um, pulling a lot of looks off with this palette. Um, and I feel like I'll be using a lot of it in the spring. Next, I have uh, this product. This is the um, Touche Cloud Blur Perfector. This is by YSL. And uh, this is a sort of your... Um, like setting um, powder slash balm. Um, it is a really, really weird product, but it really works, um, especially for um, these upcoming hot days when we will be oily or like we will have our makeup kind of like leak and mush around our face. So in order to keep it in control, we have to have either a setting powder or something in our bag so we can um, fix it on the go. And I just recently discovered this product and I've been writing about it on my blog. Um, it is this kind of like a powder to balm consistency. This is something that YSL came up with and that it's really, really, really like um, groundbreaking, I feel like. Um, so even when you, when you, when you touch it, um, you feel that it's turning into powder. So 
what I do with this product when I get oily and I get oily like right here on my nose and by my forehead I will like come in and um, you also get like a little sponge but I usually use my fingers and I would just like I would just like set my makeup all over again right now I'm not really oily so I can show you but um, it's a really really great product um, I discovered it recently because I was buying uh, their foundation and their primer and everything and um, the girl at the YSL counter um, she suggested this product and I'm really grateful that she did and it's also such a such a pretty compact it's pink with the with the gold and you have like a little mirror inside it's absolutely the cutest thing to like wear in your purse I feel like so yeah I really really love this product um, um, moving on to the next product um, what do I have here okay so I have um, a bronzer <clears throat> It is by Hourglass. It is a, the ambient lighting bronzer in the luminous bronze light. So this product, I am um, dying. Ever since I got this product, I literally have used it probably every single time I'm doing my makeup and I'm not even, not even like 10%. I didn't even use 10% of this product. So pretty much this is your a bronzer slash, slash blush slash highlighter. It's like everything in one. Um, this is for those days when you don't really feel like doing your makeup kind of like steps, like you want to do like primer, foundation, bronzer, contour, um, blush, highlighter, everything. You're going to just use this product and you're good. So it's pretty much, um, you can see that it has this kind of like swirly uh, blush inside um, mixed with the bronzer. So what I do with this is I will take this brush, I'm going to show you guys like right on the spot what I do. I have this brush. Um, this is something I usually do on the go, like I'm not doing this every day, but like for example, I did it today because I really didn't feel like putting tons of product on my face. So I will take this um, this brush, this is by b &H. it's just like a fan brush, and I will just like dip it a little bit. It's very, very highly concentrated, and I will just do this. You see, it like leaves that... it. It makes your contour, it bronzes you, it leaves like a little pinky blush, and it has a highlight. So it's like pretty much all in one. What I also do with this product, I put it um, in my crease. Uh, today I put it, but today I also have an eyeshadow, so it's not really, um, it's not really like you can't tell. But um, I also use it as a eyeshadow when I'm really, really lazy, and I just put it in my crease, and it looks really, really good. Um, it gives you that like natural sun kiss kind of look. Um, love this product. Um, Hourglass has some amazing makeup and I've been always wanting to discover more of this brand. Somehow I always go for like different things but they have amazing, amazing stuff. Um, so yeah, Hourglass, I mean lighting bronzer and luminous bronze light. I think this is pretty much it. Um, no, one more product. So um, nail polish. Um, OPI, this is the OPI Dulce de Leche. I absolutely love um, dusty pink color. <laughs> As you can tell, I have this shirt today and I have um, this, um, this bracelet that I got for my birthday. And I'm all about like pinks in the summer, uh, but not just any pink, dusty pinks. So um, this is usually the nail polish I will use in the springtime because it's kind of, it, it's not too pink in your face. Like, <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, um, I'm just rambling because I do have a different nail polish right now, but um, this one I usually put on my feet, on my toes. Um, it's a really, really nice, a dusty pink. Um, and yeah, it's called Dulce de Leche. That's it. That's pretty much all I gotta say about this about this nail nail product. And the last product uh, that I'm going to talk about is the Herbal Essences Dry Shampoo. Uh, this one is for volume and it has white grapefruit and mosa mint. It is the instant hair refresher. So thing number one that I like about this, it smells divine. Um, I don't know if you know guys, but dry shampoos can have a really bad scent. And I feel like especially the drugstore ones can be really stinky, I want to say. Um, I really love Batiste, I love Batiste, but, I, but I'm trying to branch out on different brands and um, I tried Herbal Essences once and I think it was um, a different scent and I really didn't like it. I think it left like a lot of residue in my hair, but I decided to give another one a shot and um, this is um, the one I got and I really, really like it. So, so I have this problem with my hair where my hair is kind of really flat up top, like I can make curls and I, but what I wanted to do is to look 
curly. I want it to look like very voluminous, very va va voom kind of effect. And I always have to use dry shampoo no matter what. So no matter if I wash my hair today, it's going to fall flat no matter what I do with it. So um, that's why I always opt for dry shampoos and I really like this one. So what I do with it, even when my hair is, um, even when my hair is, is um, clean, um, I love to do this. And I just add a little volume. I always have this in my purse. Like I always like to add my volume. So I will just go with my fingers like this. And um, it will give me, you see how it instantly gives this volume. Um, it doesn't leave that much of a residue, which I really like. Yeah, and it smells, as I said, divine. It makes your hair smell really, really good. So out of the drugstore products, I will say uh, Herbal Essence is probably the best one. I tried um, many, many dry shampoos, and I will say Batiste is number one, but this one can might as well be number two. Um, that will be all for um, the um, like kind of cosmetic makeup products. Um, I'm going to um, move on. I have the next thing. I have our The Sunnies, and I'm so excited. A key is finally um, retailing at Topshop. And I got this pair last week, and I think they are so, so dope. Um, you can probably see my ring light right now, which is kind of weird. Anyways, um, they are mirrored, and uh, they are cat eyes, and they're metallic, and they're absolutely beautiful. I love these sunglasses. Like People have been stopping on the street to ask me where these are from. And I have Dior's that are like cat eyes, and no one ever asked me about them. They were like so expensive. And these are like $60, and like everyone's going crazy about them. The only thing, I hate when this happens. The only thing that um, I don't like about these sunnies is, is that they kind of paint everything yellow to me. So right now everything kind of looks like I'm in an old movie right now. Like everything is sepia, which is something that I don't necessarily like. They are a little bit yellowish. They're probably mm, they probably don't have the UV protection, all the fancy stuff. But I absolutely love them, and I feel like they're um, going actually perfect with this outfit. It's kind of it, it looks really good. Anyways, um, those will be the key sunglasses and they are called Supergirl, which is also really cute. Um, again, they're $60, so they're really affordable. They have a lot of different models that I liked, so I'm probably going to grab a couple of more uh, for the summer. I feel like we all need those sunglasses that we just want to wear to the beach and we don't want to worry about breaking them or scratching them with the sand. Um, I'm someone who loves designer sunglasses and have a couple of pair. I'm a, I like to collect them um, and I always want to make sure they're like really high quality but we all need those um, kind of a couple of pairs that we don't really care about that much. I'm going to um, move on. I have two more things that I want to talk about and one of them is my new bag. It is by this brand um, Auxiliary. I'm not sure <laughs> if I'm pronouncing this right. Probably not. Um, they retail at Aritzia and they have like um, high quality uh, leather garments. So it comes in this pouch. Voila! So it's this cute little um, mini pink bag. It's really, really small. So I've been on the market for a mini bag for a while and um, I really wanted the Valentino Rockstead. But since I recently purchased the Gucci Dionysus, I figured I should wait and not spend another thousand dollars in a bag but I really wanted a small um, pink bag and I saw this one and I fell, fell in love so um, it's really simple in design it's like very minimalistic kinda it has just like this kind of like button right here then you open it and it has three pockets inside it smells it smells like a real letter, which it is a real letter. So it's actually pretty spacious. It can fit a lot of stuff. Like the other day, I brought so much stuff I couldn't believe. And you can still, you know, you can still lock it. Um, and it looks good. It has this like letter strap. It is really, really cool. So you can wear it kind of like cross body. You can wear it like this, just on the side. It's so windy outside. Um, and you can, sometimes I just like to, to do this and kind of wear it like that. Um, so I really like this bag. It is, it is made really well. Um, you can tell it's a very, very nice quality letter. So I feel like I'll be wearing this baby a lot in my spring look. 
<laughs> so that is that. And then the last product I will be talking about today are, oh, sorry, are these babies. These are my mules from Topshop. They are um, pink suede. They're absolutely beautiful, you guys. Like, they are amazing. They're so comfortable. I'm really, I'm really happy that mules are taking over this season and they're so comfortable but yet so sexy and cute. Um, I found this at Topshop, as I said the other day, and they're really, really affordable. They retail for like $80 and I feel like they look much more luxurious than you would think um, with them coming from Topshop. Um, they have these like cute little uh, fringes which I think is super, super cute. Um, and they look absolutely beautiful on the feed. I have a couple of um, looks on my blog that I already did wearing these shoes. So I'm going to link those down below so you guys can see how I, um, how I combine them with my looks. Um, I also wanted to talk about this jacket that I just got. It's also from Topshop. It is like a distressed denim jacket and it's really cute. It actually, the entire back, it's completely distressed. I think that's really, really sexy. I usually wear only like denim jeans. Um, I don't really like anything else made of denim, but when I saw this jacket, there was just something about it that I thought looks so cute. And like, as I said, it's super, super distressed. Um, also, I got this shirt recently and it is by um, Babaton. It is from Aritzia, one of my favorite clothing stores. If you follow my blog, you will know. Um, I love this like kind of like a mesh little thing right here and um, yeah those are um, these two are kind of my uh, newest purchases um, I also have one more thing so bear with me for one second <laughs> so I know I said one thing but it's actually two things and let me start with this one first so um, I walked in the Club Monaco the other day and they had their newest like April spring collection and when I saw this scarf I absolutely fell in love, you guys. I love um, tassels. I love everything, like I love little pom-poms, little tassels. I think it all looks really, really cute. Um, so they have like this scarf and I think it is so amazing. It is such like a statement piece. You can wear it. Um, it even looks good right now, but you can wear it with like dresses and like different combinations and I think it just leaves such a great effect. Um, this is some really high quality cotton, I feel. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to like be really warm or anything. Um, so I really like it. They have the one that is like pink, peachy pink and white. And that one is, was also really, really cute. But I didn't have anything that's just like white, like a white accessory that makes sense. So um, I got this one and I'm really happy to uh, wear it. And the last product, um, which I probably told like 10 times right now, the last product, are these jeans I got um, at Zara the other day. Aren't they fucking amazing, pardon my French. Um, they have these pearls all over. Um, they're like mom jeans, like uh, light distressed mom jeans and they fit absolutely beautifully you guys like i used to be um you know the skinny girl kind of kind of girl i loved just skinny jeans and i want them to be like ankle glazers and they have to be high waist and like i have all these things when it comes to jeans but when i saw these i just literally couldn't resist like how beautiful how pretty is this they look so amazing i have a look coming up on my blog wearing these jeans and i'm so excited um to show you guys so that will be it for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. As I said, I will be trying to be more um, on the schedule with my YouTube. Um, the problem I have is that it takes up a lot of time and I don't have a lot of time always to commit to YouTube, but I promise that I will do my best to keep you guys updated with what's going on in my life. Um, so that will be it for this video. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching and um, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.